I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kinsel. Twigs. As artists, we dedicate a lifetime of hard work and sacrifice in the pursuit of excellence, not only in the expectation of achieving commercial success and critical acclaim, but also in the hope of creating a body of work and reputation that is our legacy. So why am I here today? I am here because my music, my dancing, my acting, the way my body moves in front of the camera and the way that my voice resonates through a microphone is not by chance. They are essential reflections of who I am. My art is a canvas on which I paint my identity and the sustaining foundation of my livelihood. It is the very essence of my being. Yet this is under threat. AI cannot replicate the depth of my life journey, yet those who control it hold the power to mimic the likeness of my art, replicate it, and falsely claim my identity and intellectual property. This prospect threatens to rewrite and unravel the fabric of my very existence. We must enact regulation now to safeguard our authenticity and protect against misappropriation of our inalienable rights. Three decades ago, we did not realize that the internet would embed itself so deeply into the core of our everyday lives. Policies and controls to keep pace with the emergence of the technology were not put in place to protect artists, young people, and those that are vulnerable, and it ran away with us. AI is the biggest leap in technological advancement since the internet. You know the saying, for me once, shame on you, for me twice, shame on me. If we make the same mistake with the emergence of AI, it will be shame on us. Let me be clear, I am not against AI. As a future-facing artist, new technologies are an exciting tool that can be used to express deeper emotions, create fantasy worlds, and touch the hearts of many people. In the past year, I have developed my own deepfake version of myself that is not only trained in my personality, but that can also use my exact tone of voice to speak many languages. These and similar emerging technologies are highly valuable tools. This, however, is all under my control, and I can grant or refuse consent in a way that is meaningful. What is not acceptable is when my art and my identity can simply be taken by a third party and exploited falsely for their own gain without my consent due to the absence of appropriate legislative control and restriction. History has shown us time again that in moments of great technological advancement, those in the arts have been the first to have their work exploited and in many instances fraudulently commoditized. Soon after, it follows that the general and more vulnerable public suffer the same types of image and voice-related exploitation. By protecting artists with legislation at such a momentous time in history, we are protecting a five-year-old child in the future from having their voice, likeness, and identity taken and used as a commodity without prior consent. I stand before you today because you have it in your power to protect artists and their work from the, dangers of, from the dangers of exploitation and the theft inherent in this technology if it remains unchecked. I am here on behalf of all creators whose careers depend deeply on the ability to create safe in the knowledge that they can maintain tight control over their own art, image, voice and identity. Our careers and our livelihoods are in jeopardy and so potentially are the wider image-related rights of others in society. You have the power to change this and safeguard our future. As artists, and more importantly, human beings, we are a facet of our given, learned, and developed identity. Our creativity is the product of this lived experience, overlaid with years of dedication to qualification, training, hard work, and dare I say it, significant financial investment and sacrifice. That the very essence of our being at its most human level can be violated by the unscrupulous use of AI to create digital facsimile that purports to be us and our work is inherently wrong. It is therefore vital that as an industry, 
and as legislators, we work together to ensure we do all we can to protect and create an intellectual rights system, as well as protect the very basis of who we are. We must get this right. You must get this right before it's too late. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Crabtree-Arrow. 